It all started on the princess. Hmm. <laughs> 
Ugh! <laughs> 
Exactly. Oh. Yeah, I upgraded like a 359 to 385. So the it wasn't the it was the second item slot, unfortunately. The first one I think was a back, which was the same item level as the one I had, or something like that. But an upgrade, an upgrade. Take those. Especially when you're still a little RNG boost. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was like week three of doing Mythic Pluses. I think I had three items to choose from, and all three of them were items I already had item level 400 from from doing the weekly quests. Yeah, I I hate that so much. Like, what are we gonna do? Yeah, I can't believe that's still just pure RNG, and that's the system that they feel like is best for the game. on tonight? Um, level in the road. Nice. You just try in different classes for next season, or just to have some fun? Yeah, I went by the backup class. I went pretty hard last night on um, my DK. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm too hey. dumb, which is probably it. But I've never hey. understood the word mechanic for DKs. <laughs> like, every time I play a DK, like, I just... My DPS is shit. <laughs> and I don't know why. Like, I follow the guides to the T, dot the I's, and still just... Like, 
I went through like four mythics yesterday, and I think two of them the healers are all DPS in me. And I'm just like, man, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, I looked at Rogue, and I put Rogue aside for a while because I have tried Outlaw, because for a while Outlaw was really the only viable spec for Rogue. Yeah. Because the other two were kind of like relegated to PvP. And I've always loved subtle subtlety because I love the idea of 100% having to maintain slice and dice. And I looked up subtlety since it's top DPS spec out there. I watched a couple videos and it honestly just kind of seemed right up my alley and I've been loving it so far. Nice. I also just like the utility that Rogue brings to Mythic Plus specifically. Thanks. 